Capricorn brothers and sisters. Welcome to another edition of Capricorner. <sighs> this is a good one. This is a really good one, you guys, because this video is infused with the energy of Mars recently entering Capricorn. And I mean really recent. I mean it's within zero degree one. It's within from zero degree to the first degree. It's like some 30 minutes Capricorn, like right now. So it's really, really, really fresh. Okay, guys. So the downloads. Um, I heard get her done. Get her done. Get her done. Get her done. Get it done. And then I, I heard get her done. And then I heard get it done. Like a very office culture, office office -y. So there's two different ways of saying, just do it, just get it done, okay? And I feel like that's you talking to yourself, Capricorn. I feel like this is your initiative and this is in the first house of the personality. So, okay, here's the thing. Mars is exalted in the sign of Capricorn. Exalted means this energy finds its fullest most easiest, most successful expression and manifestation in the sign of Capricorn. Okay, so what that means again is that the courage, the perseverance, the boldness, the audacity, the strength, the willpower, right at home. Capricorn, have a seat, welcome. Make yourself at home, child. Martian child, what do you want to do? Let's do it. I'll put the plan together. Let you know it's it's perfect. It's perfectly okay. So whatever you want to do right now, Capricorn, and there is something you want to do because I'm hearing get it done, get her done. Okay. There's an initiative, and it's in the house of the personality as well, the house of the self. So your personal passion. That's hilarious. I, I was, you know, passion projects, and then I heard passion for money. So for some of you, this is, at, for a lot of you, this is absolutely adding a revenue stream, adding another way to make money, or going, and you know, Mercury is also retrograding in Pisces. It goes retrograde the same day, at the same time that Mars is entering Capricorn. So there's another energy shift happening. So you benefit from going back, Capricorns, you benefit from going back to not even just projects and things that you want to pick up and sort of complete or rework to, to a, a, a better version of itself, but also going back to your mistakes, the different, and when I say mistakes, I, I want you to identify them as you know, something of note, you know, something that you would have done a little differently, knowing what you know now, that kind of thing. But I say mistake because, because it's a little bit of a red flag or it's, it's just, it's something that needed to get to your attention. What I tell my young people is mistakes are not mistakes. If you learn from them, they therefore become a lesson. And every lesson is like a feather in your cap. And once you have so many feathers, you become a chief. That's what I tell my little niece, Ava Lenore. So that's how I really feel about mistakes, that they're just lessons. So I'm, I'm just making that absolutely clear because Mercury is retrograding. So um, I know you probably already know that already. So the passion project moving forward with that you have the stamina the endurance the focus the precision with mars and capricorn use the mercury retrograde as a superpower a super turbo secret super secret superpower something that no one else would use no one else would consciously use that oh let me go back to go forward right so that's how you kind of stay ahead and, and use these energies the best way that you possibly can. You want to use the benefit of looking back at your past mistakes. Sorry, that's like so distracting to me. Looking back at your past mistakes, you know, where things kind of went wrong, either with a job opportunity or a revenue stream or a business thing or, you know, something, a former job. Okay. Also be mindful of temper, of impatience. 
Some of you are going to be Capricorns with more of an impatient flair, although Capricorns are normally like great with patience. I'm not. I'm more of the former. I have my Mars and Aries, so I'm just not patient. But some of you are, so use that to your advantage as well. Okay, for the rest of you, be careful of that impatience because it will absolutely manifest as stubbing your toe, catching your hip and your elbows and your shoulders on doorways and countertop edges and, you know, breaking nails, you know, tripping, falling over yourself, dropping things, spilling things miscommunicating, misfiring, misunderstanding. It's just going to manifest in these other different ways. So make sure you meditate every single day. I'm going to say every single day because it's just, I, I couldn't in good conscience recommend anything less. I know that that's probably not going to happen for a lot of you, but I'm just going to say it anyway. I know this is so weird, but yeah, my nails are two diff totally different like styles of nails. Isn't that, isn't that cool? I know that's stupid i know it's so stupid but i like it so much and i have no idea why i'm such a dork anyway they're they told me the cards are done so i'm I just cutting them right now and we're getting our first layer down okay so this has to do with an initiative oh yes it does oh holy moly this yeah this is having to do with whatever the get or done get it done is about and i am getting that tone that tonality so be very careful be very careful, Capricorn, that you're watching your tone, not only in how you're speaking, the noises, the sounds you're making with your body, but also in all of your emails, all of your correspondence, social media thingies, you know, bottom of the deck, the Page of Swords, not surprised to see this at all, this Page of Swords, with the Ten of Cups of Happiness, and then I believe that is, yes, the Judgment underneath that. This is... I'm getting slow cooker. They're showing me a crock pot. Interesting. Interesting. This is actually the judgment card, first of all. And I am getting this temperance flair to it, though. Like, I saw this first, and I'm like, oh, my God. But then I got this sort of, not a slow burn, a slow cook. Thank you. That's why they're giving me crap. This is something that you have dedicated yourself to. Okay, with that judgment energy, it's like, I am committed to this. No one's changing my mind. Okay, this is going to make me happy. This is going to give me everything I want. And here's the thing, with that Page of Swords, it's a little bit of an immature spirit. Maybe when you first committed yourself to this Capricorn. Now, let's, let's hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm a Capricorn too, so let's just... I don't want anyone to get triggered if I say immature, okay? What I mean by that is that mentally, you could have been thinking, this is going to bring me my Ten of Cups, perfect human love, perfect human happiness, because it will satisfy my ego, because it will make me feel important, because it will make me a lot of money, because it will make everyone that, you know, picked on me in school, it'll, it'll show them, you know, it, just be careful Capricorn because we're just like the kings and queens of that kind of energy. I feel like that fuels a lot of ambitious Capricorns and um, I should make a funny movie about it, right? Um, so just be, just, it's something to know. Let's get our second layer down. Okay, we're doing the Celtic cross here, the Celtic cross. So this is a spread that gives us the far past, the recent past, the meat of the situation, you know, the main element of the, the energy that you are channeling. And then we have an energy crossing that energy. So that acts as an obstacle to you being able to express this energy or it acts as um, a helper for you expressing and manifesting this energy, like a supportive energy there to help you and we get to see what that is we get the next energy you can expect the near future we get how other people see you that's not always important a lot of times it's not I just and when I'm doing this in personal reading sometimes it's good for strategy and I help people strategize and navigate their way through a situation and it helps to know how other people are seeing them in the situation but most of the time I say disregard because it doesn't matter what anyone thinks of you okay and then we have your hope, fear, or opportunity, the outcome, and the future environment. So what we can expect after this settles. So they're telling me this is done. We do. 
sorry. I had to show you that we're cutting the deck. So let's see what the new bottom of the deck is. The new bottom of the deck is the High Priestess. But let's get the cards done, and then we'll get into the bottom of the deck. But they did want me to show you the tower. Interesting. They're giving me like a watchtower. Interesting. Okay. Okay, interesting. Bottom of the deck, the High Priestess with the Eight of Staves and, yikes, the Five of Swords. And then Ten of Cups, happiness underneath that. So we take it because we already have Ten of Cups on the table. Whoa, okay. So this connects us with the bottom of the other deck with this Ten of Cups here. So overall, and this is the thing, that Five of Swords just, just kind of confirms what I called out earlier when I was talking about the Page of Swords and you making this decision and really devoting yourself to this, that Five of Swords is really this blemish, this blemish on an otherwise extremely beautiful energy. Here's the thing, the what is correct. The why has a little bit of toxicity still in it. I'm, sh I'm sure that this is something that is not just fulfilling for you personally, but also beneficial to others in some way, shape, or form. However, what's coming across is that your ego is a huge issue with this. Like red flags. Okay, with this Five of Swords, we have a ruthlessness. We have, I will stop at nothing, which is beautiful energy. I love that energy. And Mars and Capricorn, it's ex it can be extremely ruthless where you are going to do something or have something attain something at all costs no matter what you know it could be that it's definitely that energy and i'm not saying that we're making an immediate judgment on it i'm telling you what i'm being channeled so i have to be honest with you there and they are channeling that this is ego ego issue for some of you okay so for some of you just disregard that if it doesn't apply some of you are already disregarded it but it's your cognitive dissonance that's sort of keeping it away from you but it doesn't matter because it's being seeped into your subconscious as I speak so anyway moving on so that's all and I feel like speaking of subconscious coming back to that high priestess it is something that you know deep down I feel that there are these sort of stirrings within you the eight of staves I'm getting stirrings they're showing me like a long stirrer for like a um a drink, a drink stirrer. So they're actually showing me eight drink stirrers. So there could actually be some sort of party, get together, meeting, maybe a meeting, um, like celery sticks in Bloody Marys, something like that. But be careful because that could be the setting and the place and the time where your ego gets the best of you and it kind of jeopardizes something really good that you have going for yourself, some Ten of Cups sort of development. So just be careful just be careful okay so getting into the actual reading capricorn so this is this is your i don't want to say passion because it's it's bigger than that it's very calculated capricorns calculate this is a calcu this is a passion that can stand on its own this is a passion that has legs this is a passion that can make you um, not even just income it's not even just like a job or a revenue stream or an income this is this is something that could potentially add to your credentials your credibility your pedigree sort of something that's I'm getting this sort of prestige high uh, no it's top shelf kind of energy to it so that's why, and they're giving me the Mercury retrograding again, that's why it's really important to mine the past for those lessons so that you don't blow it this time, so that it doesn't keep you held up. Because Mars and Saturn, like it's, for instance, if you're born with Mars square Saturn, you know, Saturn is that Capricorn energy, Mars is that Arian Aries energy. When they're not harmonious, it's like speeding with the parking brake on and everything you do is going to blow up. There's going to be obstacles. It's going to be challenges. It's going to be, it's just going to feel like the universe is against you. And, be, and that's because you're not understanding the energies. So you're not moving with those energies. You're not 
going with the flow when the universe wants you to flow, you're resisting. Likewise, the universe is now wanting you to act, to really like get with it. So if you don't move with those energies, you're going to be very upset. Okay, in the far past, this is the context in which we will read the rest of the reading moving forward, my dear. And in the far past, what we have in this situation with this endeavor is what they're giving me. They're giving me endeavor is we have the fool with the king of staves. Now, this is a really dynamic energy, Capricorn. This is telling us that you, you did it. You kind of, when I say did it, you, you took some sort of big action, a big concrete step, some sort of leap of faith, an act of, not even like goodwill. It's more of, like you, I'm just getting that you went for it. You could have even been told that or you told yourself that or you're being... Um, you were known for that, seen for that. The King of Wands is is someone who has lots of passions, lots of, and here's the thing about King of Wands in business is that he has lots of business partners, has a lot of business opportunities and different little businesses going on all at once while having a big family, while having, um, you know, lots of friends. So you can imagine a life like that. You know, if they have, 14 different business partners and business pockets and they diversify their portfolio and they have, you know, lots of meetings about all these different things and they have family members that are still growing up and, you know, daughters and sons that there are practices, there are recitals, there are shows that they put on, extended family reunions, birthdays, deaths, funerals, okay, think travel and then me time like you can see how a life this full kind of um how it goes so this is that king of staves energy that you're sort of that you were channeling at this time that you took this full energy leap of faith so this was sort of a moment for you capricorn when you were confident you were confident maybe you were in a state of expansion and I'm not getting that this was overconfident. I feel like the instinct was right on. I feel like they're just warning you about the ego, that they don't want to see you trip and fall over the ego and this ruthlessness, you know, winning at all costs. Um, and not even like you're some evil Bond villain. I'm not saying that, Capricorn. I'm just saying that it'll be so much better for you that like you'll be able to enjoy this you'll be able to have an easier path to getting what you want thank you if you do this now if you take care of the ego impulses when you're getting triggered when you have a reaction when you are purging alchemizing when you're doing all of that you know it's like you know it's going to pay off in the very end it will make it easier for you in the long run and getting what you want. And that's the work that the universe wants you to do is that alchemizing, that purging, you know, it's being triggered and accepting, hey, I, my jealousy was triggered. I'm gonna be honest about it. I'm gonna be honest with myself. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with myself about it, with whomever about it. You know, that's the only way this will be easier for you. Otherwise, like I'm telling you, it's gonna be like speeding with a parking brake on. Okay, so I'm just sorry, I was just, they really pulled me into this energy that you were in when you were starting this. It, it's just very entrepreneurial. It's even, like I said, I don't think this is overconfident. I feel this is just idealistic. It's idealistic confident. It's looking to the future with an eye towards further expansion, further expansion, further expansion. Okay, now there could have been some hiccups, there could have been some, and here's what I mean by mistakes again, is that they're not mistakes in terms of, I did the wrong thing because I suck, I did the wrong thing because I'm stupid. No, you did, you did something maybe a little bit wonky, or you made something a little bit more difficult than it has to be, or you didn't see an opportunity, or you let something go, whatever it was, you did it because you just didn't know. You actually... The spirit is, is very, like I said, brave, entrepreneurial, and a lot of forward momentum, but it just doesn't know. The zero is just, I mean, first of all, human expansion, sorry, human consciousness expanded exponentially when the number zero was introduced. 
okay? Then a whole book, it's just like, okay? So this is about being in a attitude of a king, okay? So the king doesn't need to have like a fool moment where they start something new and it fails. No, they've already, they did that in their knighthood. So it's like for you, you were going into something as the king, as I have this under control, I've done this before, I've done that before, I've had this job, that job, and the other. I'm gonna do this this thing now. And you started this, it had beautiful momentum, beautiful beginning energy, but there were still things that you didn't know that you didn't know. I like this spot, this new spot but it's just like the lighting is just really weird and different. Okay. Let me see if there's anything else they want to give me about this. No? Okay. The recent past. So as you're moving into the more dominant energies, this is an influence that's fading away, but you can still feel it. The peak of the energy already burst. You're still feeling this, not as much. But it happened and it's it's what I want to put in the YouTube version so that it's an, another indicator that this is your message, if it's your message. I try to do super detailed and that's why I'm doing the four weeks per sign instead of the weeklies right now is because it's super detailed and I just, psychically it's an experiment that I'm trying. So in the recent past we have the seven of pentacles with the lovers. This is very, now first of all, we have another major arcana energy with this. And in the far past, we had that major arcana energy with the fool. So you got this spirit swept up in you that was outside of your control. It was not human. You were this human, you know, enterprising or doing your thing, having ideas, trying things, trying to live your life. But then it's this spirit, this otherworldly spirit that just kind of came over you to try this, to go into this passion, into this thing. So in the recent past, here we have that that energy again of this sort of um, rest, no, 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 hold on. It's where you get along with people. Harmony, <laughs> harmony, harmony, this energy of harmony and wanting to work together and work things out and just be the partner that you want. And that's what I mean by the harmony, it's that it's coming from you, Capricorn. It's coming from you or you're receiving it. You're receiving a very generous message or faith or a compliment or you're receiving some sort of like pat on the back or gentle communication. Someone's being very gentle with you. Um, something very harmonious. And with the Seven of Pentacles, that's the energy of... I'm putting all my eggs in this basket. I don't know what's gonna happen with it. I don't know if I'm gonna get anything back. I don't know if I'm gonna get this return on investment. I have no idea. I've just made the investment. I don't know what I'm gonna get back from it. I don't know. I don't know. You know, it's a little bit insecure, that seven of pentacles, but it should be assuaged by some sort of harmonious relationship. So maybe the pentacles are not coming in you know, it's not coming in, and that doesn't surprise me because this Mars and Capricorn energy is just beginning. So Capricorn, it's we have some time to work through this, okay? We have some time to to go get it done. That's what I want to say. Anyway, so you could be feeling a little bit insecure about that, like maybe things aren't quite solid or everything that you've put into it, it's a lot, but it's not quite all the way there, or you're not getting paid, or there's some sort of hold up there. That could be stressing you out, but there is this beautiful harmony. So it'll be the relationship with your business partner, with your creative partner, with your partner. It'll be the relationship that the relationships that you have with whoever else is involved in this that makes you feel better about it. Okay. In the recent past. So let's go ahead and take a look at the meat of this situation. The very, the meatiest, you know, part of it, what's going on. Okay. Oh, interesting. More wand energy. We have the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Cups. So this is, holy shit, that is so fucking cool. I can't even explain to you what they just showed me. It's indescribable. I love it. You know, a lot of my psychic information is indescribable. I just want it. 
just want to tell you that. Okay. They're giving me that this is a reignition of, it's like relighting the passion. This is a reinvigoration of this feeling for this thing, for this passion, for this creative thing, for this revenue stream, for this business. It's, yeah, it's reinvigoration, completely reinvigorated. And it could even be the encouragement that you receive from this relationship that gets you fired up, that gets you reinvested into this. Another re word with this Mercury going retrograde, in retrograde, I should say. Now, crossing this energy will either support this energy being expressed or it will act as a resistor to this energy being expressed. Here I see a lot of, now here's the thing with the Knight of Staves. We do have in the far past that you're acting as the King of Staves. You took this decision in a, in a powerful place. You made the initial decision from a place of decisiveness and like taking power into your own hands. So maybe even if you were not in an expansive position financially, materially or in your business life this is speaking to you feeling empowered at least by making this decision thereby this leap of faith made you feel like you were the king of staves by saying okay i'm gonna i'm, I'm disenfranchised now but i know that this is going to enfranchise me and make me a brand and get take go from mom and pop to a corporation you know something kind of big that way and that's another thing, a little bit of this overinflated ego, sort of like grandiose. Because with this Knight of Staves, I'm getting that insecurity. All of the Knights are insecure. The Knight of Staves, the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and what's the other one? The Knight of Swords. They're all insecure, okay? All of the Knights are insecure. So this, this encouragement is, it's reinvigorating this passion this emotional content it's sort of this could almost even be something that was always there within you but your attention wasn't on to it your attention wasn't on it this entire time and now you're bringing your attention back into this back onto this this thing this job passion creative project whatever this is for you here's the interesting thing about the knight of staves and this ace of cups the Knight of Staves, reignited passion about this, you know, this thing from the past that's emotionally gripping you, right? The energy crossing that, we have the Three of Swords with the Five of Staves. And this is why it's interesting. We have the secret, we have the information. Okay, we see that there's disappointment, we see that there's fighting and strife here with this energy crossing that beautiful, beautiful holy grail of emotion with that passionate Nine of Wands. So there's a fight. Someone's feelings get hurt. Disappointment. You just don't see the same thing the same way. Very different opinions, very like divergent very divergent opinions and here's here's the secret hidden in this energy it's all in here with that knight of staves he's just insecure so there's an insecurity either on your side or the other person's side capricorn but either way and here's the thing right now you're showing you know this energy of ego the Page of Swords is a test of your integrity. So it's what do you do with what you know? Anything you learn about someone or a situation or a circumstance nefariously or how you, however you find out, you are challenged and you are tested with that test of integrity. What do I do with this now that I have it? What do I do with what I know? Okay. That was already showing up on the bottom of that first deck. On the bottom of the second deck, we have the Five of Swords, okay? That's huge ego. That is... I don't see your point of view at all. I don't... Okay, it's very much... I don't... I'm not picking up what you're putting down. So 
you know, even though this is sort of reignited, it's it's crossed, it, it dies. It really gets choked out with this conflict, okay? Now, we do have the next energy to expect. We have the role you're playing, how this other person or these people see you, your hope or fear, your outcome, your future environment. So Capricorn, if this is resonating for you and if this, if this tense moment, this conflict, this disappointment comes up for you, and you want to know how this resolves itself, please join me on the flip side. Um, okay, for everyone else, I'll see you, I'll see you next week for the next week's Capricorner. I just want to say for everyone to keep the egos in check and really checking yourself because Mercury's retrograding Mars and Capricorn can also boost some of that ego that I'm right, you are wrong ruthlessness so just just be mindful of that and just try to give everyone the benefit of the doubt and to be very generous and kind with everyone you encounter okay cappies i love you guys forever and i will talk to you guys next week if you need a personal reading on this i would recommend a personal reading because i'm picking up a little bit of this cognitive dissonance thing with the anger or with the that's interesting that was a slip not even anger but ego so for some of you anger is the cognitive dissonance where you could not see that there's an unjustified anger here and you're and it's actually ego interesting okay so if that's resonating for you i do highly recommend a reading on that on the anger ego issues if you are ready to go down and take care of that basement work and the skeletons in those closets cleaning out your closet via m, &M. okay guys i love you i'll talk to you next week bye someone's just not into it anymore a connection they're reaching out with a connection to connect with them something that didn't happen this is very out of your control here opportunity is to break the chains and release the ego that has you if you feel victimized if you feel like you're being picked on if you feel like you are being attacked those are all triggers for this ego issue that you're going through in this situation 